Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. So for this week's video, I am going to be swatching the entire collection of the new Kat Von D Studded Kiss. So this lipstick range has just recently been reformulated. So let's just jump straight into the swatches and I'll be giving you a full review at the end.
So for those of you that are wondering what the new formula is like as compared to the old one, I did originally do a swatch video of the older formulation lipstick and although I was a fan of the old Studded Kiss formula, this one is so much creamier and pigmented. The original formula was a matte lipstick and it stayed on really well, but when you would put it on, it had a real tug to it. So as you can see from swatching these ones, it's so creamy and it just glides onto the lips. So the difference is that it's creamier, it's more highly pigmented, and it also feels a little more hydrating on the lips as well. They have also added a bunch of new shades to the range as well. Originally, there was not many nude shades in the original Studded Kiss lipsticks. So there's a ton of new ones and super favorites. Bow and Arrow, Ophelia, Ludwig, not to mention Kat Von D previously bought out all of the lip liners as well. So there's now a lot of lipsticks that match the lip liners and there's also lipsticks that match the everlasting liquid lipsticks such as Double Dare and Lolita 2, Ophelia, Ludwig. Those ones are super popular shades and super wearable shades as well. The main thing that I'm going to be doing with these lipsticks is pairing them with the Everlasting Liquid Lips. I'm sure anyone that wears liquid lipstick knows that when you do try to reapply them too many times, they can go a little bit ugh. So the best thing to do in that case would be to take the Studded Kiss lipstick that matches the liquid lipstick that you're wearing and just touch up with that instead. And then you won't get that cakey kind of build up and it will feel a lot more creamy as well. So usually when I do these, I have just four or five favorites, but there's so many beautiful ones in this range. I can't really boil it down to that little. So I'm just gonna give you a rundown of some of my super favorites and some that didn't work so well for me. Hawkwind was another total favorite of mine. I actually wore it at iMats the other day with Homegirl lip liner all over and then Hawkwind in the center and it was gorgeous. I got so many compliments. That was the most compliments that I got on my lips the whole weekend at iMats. So Piaf was one of my favorite colors in the original Studded Kiss lipstick line. Uh, it's pretty much exactly the same except for the iridescence in Piaf is now more of a pinky iridescence, whereas before it was more of a purpley pinky iridescence. So still pretty similar, but still one of my favorite shades. I probably will keep wearing the old one for a while. Piaf is definitely one of the ones that you kind of have to build upon to get a lot of color out of that. I feel like most of the lipsticks in the range that have more of a metallic finish, you do have to do a few layers of them. So another one that does have that metallic sheen to it and is a little harder to apply is Plan 9. I did have to do a few coats of that to get a nice opaque finish. Also Poe, which is that navy blue, a few coats of that to get that opaque finish. But that being said, Darker lipsticks or bright colored lipsticks, I always, always wear with a lip liner. I would never, ever wear it just by itself. So if you have the matching lip liner Po for the Po lipstick, um, just apply that all over and buff it into the center of the lips. And also Lemmy is the matching lipstick to Plan 9. So if you use that all over underneath, you would have no problems with the opacity. Oh my gosh, underage red. I have never been so obsessed with a red cream lipstick before. It just glided on so smooth and beautiful. I didn't even feel like I needed a lip liner with it at all. So that was my favorite red out of all of the reds in the collection. I also really liked the color Misfit. Uh, there is a matching lip liner to this in the lip liner collection. However, I feel like the lipstick Misfit is a little more of the reddish brownie kind of tone. So I would say that would be a really good one to throw in your bag to touch up the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Plath if you have that. Double Dare was one of my favorite mid-tone shades. I can see myself wearing that a ton and using that for any bridal or bridesmaid kind of makeup as well. 
Sanctuary, obviously, that is the most grey shade in the range. And if you guys know me, you know that I love a grey shade. So Sanctuary is one of my favourite shades. I think if you have the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Haze, that would be a really good one to bring with you to touch up with. Another one that needs a few layers is Home Girl, but there is a matching lip liner to Home Girl, so I would just apply the lip liner and then use Home Girl more in the centre of the lips. One that I did see a huge note noticeable difference from the original formula was Motorhead. Uh, I remember using that a long time ago and just thinking this is a little bit patchy. It did have that kind of tug to it, but the new Motorhead formula is beautiful. I absolutely loved that. It was super, super creamy and just a gorgeous deep color as well. Other ones that I was super fan of, Roxy. That is a stupidly gorgeous purple shade. Also, Nayan. Definitely an improvement from the original formula. It doesn't have tug and it's really creamy. It's a black with a nice iridescent shimmer in it as well. Obviously a unique one in the range is the white out shade, which I actually applied a little bit into the center of this color Ludwig just to make the lips a little more plump and a little more dimensional. You can use this one by itself, but my favorite use for it is just to pop it in the center of the lips just to give it a little more fullness as well, but you could use this for so many different things. Basically think of it as a creamy white mixing medium. And last but not least, I could seriously mention almost all of the lipsticks. Uh, Ludwig is one of my favorite new nudes. This is my first time wearing it. Uh, I do apologize for how long this video took me to put together. For starters, I was trying to do it in sections so that my lips weren't completely ruined by the time I swatched 40 of them and so that you guys could see better swatches as well so they weren't stained or red or chapped. But after I got more than halfway done, I realized that I actually received a double up of two shades and I didn't receive Ophelia and Ludwig and I was like oh my gosh I cannot go on without those two shades because I knew they were going to be my favorites uh, so I had to wait until last weekend where we did Kat Von D Beauty at IMATS and I picked up those shades at IMATS and I'm obsessed. I'm sure many of you have already purchased some of the new shades in the Studded Kiss Lip Formula and if you have, leave your comments below what you think about them too. They were definitely a hit at IMATS on the weekend. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this lip swatch video and if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you guys found this video helpful, it would really help me for you to give it a thumbs up. Let me know your favorite shades in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, bye.